Oh yeah, hi everyone, welcome to part three of Fun Day Monday, number 328. It's Europe week, I'm sitting out, hanging out live, it's 11.05 a.m. And there are 15,000 wonderful, warm, webulous Europeans, maybe even some Americans in there, but I don't care about anyone from America today, or for the remainder of the week, until MLG Anaheim this weekend, uh, where I'll be commentating with Dr. Wheat No Toad and Husky and Mr. Bitter and JP, but they don't have a doctorate the way Wheat does. So we're going to go hop into part number three. Now, in general, there's an interesting trend that happens where when someone tries to go for something, you know, like if they're trying to go for some creep attacking, they do it way too fucking early. So let's go ahead and take a look at a key example of this. In the, in the top corner, we have Zaga in them north position versus Della. What's your Della? Forella. Hola. Della says hola. Or he's Deal and he says whole. We'll never know if his name was meant to be Della or whether it was just a, a typo. And interestingly, a pylon on eight coming up from Della, and we do see Zaga in the north position, the day nine daily viewer. Moving right on up with a first drone. He's gonna be scouting. He has not yet spotted his opponent, but here it comes. Bam! And there it is, the gateway from Della planting at the front. A forge as well. Looks like we're going to be going for some early defense. We're going to see Zaga getting his spawning pool up. Now, remember, you cannot attack without creep. So, interestingly, we're going to see Zaga layer rush. He's going to be getting a layer before anything. It's no queen. No units. We're getting a layer, and there it is. We see a roach warren going down now. We do see, <gasps> what are these drones doing here? All right, we see Della. Uh-oh, there's the first zealot popping out. Three spine crawlers. We have just hit the five minute and 20 second mark. Okay, let me just point out some timings. If a player, the caliber of Huck, goes for a very standard three warp gate zealot sentry into expand they generally get that expo down a little after the six minute mark which means that these spine crawlers would already be here <laughs> oh zaga getting ahead of the game look at this cyber next core is not done and spine crawlers are we see zaga looks like he's getting some roaches up at this point in time who does this who does this but Zaga? I'm excited. So we do see another spine crawler coming up. All right, there's the creep vomitage. Zaga knows he can't move in to do the aggression. He knows that he has to be careful here. There's another photon cannon going down for Della. Della getting all the upgrades. Della knows the importance of having plus one, plus one. So he's going to do them in order. Make sure he sets aside the money now. Because you don't want to get to the end of the month and not have enough for a plus one attack upgrade. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Alright, we do hear my tummy a grumbling, grumbling. But don't worry, I'm going to get all the nutrition I need from this game. And there's the poking going on, breaking the cannons at the front. Uh-oh, uh-oh, one of the cannons is doing quite a bit of damage to the units on the low ground. We see more Zells coming out from Daylight and Headbutt and Headbutt. But the problem is that Zaga sacrificed literally everything to try to get the Slayer up so fast. This Queen, another stunt Queen, very high on energy, uh, has not really been able to do too much. Now these Roaches, oh, are always on the cusp of the creep. Zaga, very good at maintaining his creep micro. The Fun Day Monday topic, once again, is that your units may not attack unless they have creep under them. Now we see the spine crawlers continue to move forward, but Zaga, oh no, if he loses those overlords, how will he spread his creep aggressively? Um, well, we are at an impasse. All right, we've cleared the front. Oh, well, our spine crawler's dying. I mean, we're taking an expansion. But how do we move up? We have these two cannons containing us. Okay, we have the roaches there. All right, move this a little bit farther forward. We really do need some more spine crawlers. Let's go ahead and get two of those started. Excellent. We see Della. Now, finally finishing up his warp gate. There's a plus one coming up. Plus one armor already done. And he budgeted for this plus one attack. There's going to be no surprises here. Be quiet, stomach. We're almost done. We see Della in the corner. 
with a probe hiding, hidden, mysteriously not there. And more spore crawlers going down. This is actually pretty good foresight going on. Uh, there's the groove spines of the hydralisks coming up. Zaga now moving up. He's getting a spore crawler here. Now Zaga has a lot of preparation. His creep rush contain build. Oh no! Oh no! There's a cannon there. Get the vision. Get the vision. Get the vision. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, well. Whoa! Zaga very aggressively pushing forward. We do see that there's going to be a team up of the stalker and the cannon. But Zaga's going to continue to try to headbutt this down. And it looks like he'll be able to take it out. And some stalkers try to advance forward. But more drones coming. Or something. Drones exist that are moving down. Yes. And now we see Zaga finally beginning to advance farther forward. But how do you ramp up the aggression in a situation like this? Dela very clearly in a comfortable defensive position. And the answer that Zaga has for you, the answer that Zaga has is, it is Overlords with slow drop. Yes, Zaga. Atta boy, Zaga. That's it. All right, he's going to get there. <sighs> this isn't on a slowed speed. They actually move at this rate. Get there. And if there's going to be lurkers in there, it's going to be some trouble. That's right. Put the creep down first. Now begin to unload. Shit. Okay. And, oh, all right. Quickly. No, retreat. Retreat. No, drop. Reinforcements. Reinforcements. Oh, we have speed. Get out of there. Get out of there. <sighs> oh, it's exhausting to talk like that. I don't know why, but I, you know, the overlords were running away and they were just like, Shh. It's hard to talk like that for that long of a day. Coming on over. Yeah. Interesting fact, when I was young, I actually thought that my name had 30 syllables in it. I would just say Sean for a very long time and just keep counting. Very good, Sean. The 30-syllable word. We see Dela moving out. These R11 units. And Zaga finally retreating with all of his units. And there's the queen now falling. The roaches are in good numbers, so it looks like Zaga will be able to defend. Dela, will you retreat? Absolutely not! Victory for the Zerg units on the creep. And ladies and gentlemen, we are fairly even, but it looks like Dela wants to import more sacrificial units. Zaga has absolutely no idea that that's there, and if he was aware, he would not be that concerned. We have an expand to a hidden location, a very common technique in games along these lines. We do see, uh-oh. I see a pylon. Puke some creep onto that pylon. Oh. Now go for it. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, Zaga. Obeying them rules. Let's knock down these destructible rocks. Gotta make sure there's some creep under these units. Yes! Very good, Zaga. Just waiting, hanging out, not committing too early. We do now see a couple of droners, a little bit of droners, coming from out from Zaga. He's now moving over to take himself a third base in a reasonable location. And what would Zealot be without the 1-1-1 upgrades? We do see the Zealot Immortal Mixture now going down. A lot of, uh, ooh, actually getting a little bit mined out. We do see Zaga now advancing in. Oh no, he's gonna spot it! Attack! 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 Run! Run! Oh, Nidus Worm. We see everything that Zaga is doing centered around the expansion of creep. Very good. Centering around expansion of creep. Nidusing in. Okay, the Photon Cannon doesn't have any creep on it. It's protected for now. And oh no! Oh no, our main is dying, but it looks like De La did not quite throw down the needed force field, but the main is in a lot of trouble, and it looks like Zaga managing to hold down. Get over there, get onto the creep, get onto the creep, get onto the creep, get onto the creep. Attack, attack, attack. Go to the Nidus, 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 come on. Go to the Nidus. Ha! Ah, successfully putting it in the most inconvenient location on the map. And there it is. 
All right, Zaga did lose the Overlord. That means that he cannot advance. No, get off! Get off the creep! Get off the creep! Zaga, are you breaking the rules of fun? Day Monday? Why am I drooling so much today? What the hell? All right, we do see a lot of units being warped in. Zaga in a little bit of trouble. It looks like he won't quite be able to continue to attack. He's pulling back, and oh my gosh, the offensive Nidus Worm going down. He's trying to keep his units up. No, 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 no! Get, get! You gotta get on the creep. He's staying on the creep. He's committing to it. Zaga only has 65 APM. He's trying to hang in there. It's at 60 health. It's at 40. It's at 20. And it heals! It heals a single piece of health. And there's the push. And Zaga takes out the cannon. Zaga. Zaga, you baller. Look at that Nidus Worm with its one health survive. And that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, Zaga. And there. Oh. Build, build cannons. I bet you want to build some cannons. But Zaga, in the meantime, has 10 roaches and 3 hydras, and that's basically it. Looks like he will be losing this Nidus Worm today. But Zaga's not done yet. Here he has his roaches. He's now beginning to rebuild his infrastructure. <gasps> He's mined out in his main as is Dela. So we're going to have to see Zaga pull a kind of miracle of sorts to be able to... Well, he needs more creep. He doesn't really have that many queens in the unit counting station. We see that he has three. And every one of those is committed to a hatch. And every one of those is committed to getting a lot of energy. And there's... Oh! Successfully adding creep tumors. Very good, Zaga. Very pleased to see you getting those creep tumors spread. We do see Zaga now. Oh! Another Nidus Worm. Colossi are coming out. They didn't work too well for the foes who faced Vibe. And now Zaga swarming in the front. Looking good, Zaga. Looking good. For all his aggression and slow overlord dropping and patiently waiting by the Nidus Worms, he is clearing out a main. And look at this. This is one of my favorite things for any of you who don't look for shapes. If you look for shapes in the crowd, you should look for shapes in the Zerglings. Look at this little arrow pointing to the left. I mean, there's nothing actually over here, but this is still cool. There he is, taking out absolutely everything. Still being very prudent. Doesn't want to get off the creep. And the onslaught of Zaga continues, picking buildings off one at a time. Zaga, who went for the creep spread a little too fast. It looked concerning. It looked like things might not work out. No big deal. He's getting himself a Nidus warm up. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, speed, speed. And speed, speed, speed. Zaga. Clearing it out. Doing the damage that's needed. Creep is pretty good. Says Zaga. Look at the timing on this. Look at the timing. Saying creep is pretty good. Creep is pretty good. Has left the game. Dela. So sorry. So sorry that you are a victim of this week's Fun Day Monday strap. Now, that was a fun little uh, game because, you know, I don't think the uh, slow overlord drop has really been utilized enough. I mean, with the lurkers in the StarCraft 1. Oh, the lurkers were so cool. I love them lurkers. But in this game, getting like, like three roaches getting dropped. That was the greatest. Now we're going to watch my favorite game ever. Where is my favorite game? Where is it? I failed. There, that's what it is. Okay, cool. I failed. SC2 rep is the name of it. Let me just scratch my ear a little bit. Mm, that's pretty good. Day nine. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the final game of this week's Fun Day Monday. Moving right on in. Whoopsie daisies. Don't want to pause. We have, we have, orang orang orangutantrum. Orangutan. Orangutanter, mmm. Orangutanter, mmm. Orangutanter. Milo's easy. I can do Milo. Good luck. Have fun. It's Monday. Monday. To which Milo replies... Nothing. Milo actually doesn't type very much. He's kind of quiet. He doesn't say too much. It's Saturday. Nope. Not listening. Attaboy, term. Yeah. Nope. Not listening. Nope. No. Uh, I do believe it's Saturday. No. Not wrong. No. No, uh-uh. We see an early gas geyser. A late pool. Quite late. He's going to have plenty of gas built up. Milo. 
Going to be going for the fairly standard gateway into very interesting wall off at the front. We see that there's the hatch upgrading into a layer. Again, it looks like a layer rush coming up. A layer rush. We saw the success of that last game. And we see an overlord sneaking its way to the top. We see Warpgate going down for Milo, who actually has... Ah, he's doing good. He's doing good. Making more gateways. Getting himself another assimilator. Looking good. There's a Nidus network from Orangutan. Orangutan Anthrum. Orangadanthrum. Uh, oh, he's loading it up. He does have three roaches in there right now. Oh my god! Protoss spots the Nidus network. Alright. That's okay. We spot the other side. It's gonna be close. Oh no! Oh no! An attack going on at the front and a Nidus network going on at the back. Orangutantrum. Vomiting out a lot of stuff. And it looks like Protoss is going for it. No! His hearing is just poor. He's pulling back now. And there's one force field going down, splitting those roaches on either side before killing off everything. And it looks like Orangutantrum's continuing to advance forward. He's going into a double expand as well. Orangutantrum seizing the opportunity of map control, just obliterating absolutely everything. But when the remainder of the forces arrive home, Guardian shields galore, retreat. And we do see the Nidus network falls, but look at the food count. 16 drones, five roaches, one queen, and the queen is even inside the Nidus network. Orangutantrum cleverly going for the 1,000 minerals, no gas, one geyser, spire play. When that spire finishes, he can get two mutalisks and attack with both of them. And Protoss might be underprepared. We see that that creep tumor from Orangutantrum is still up. Stalker there to do the spotting. Push advancing forward in the production. <sighs> the spire is nearing completion. The second gas geyser is done. He might he might even be able to make three mutalisks, but no. He's going to spend all that money on another Nidus Worm. The other Nidus Worm's going down, but oh my gosh, Orangutantrum. Running down. All right, he does have this third base. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, oh, he man, just to take it out if he can get some sort of reinforcements. The Stalkers, oh no, on a move command. Milo running low on probes. The Queen Roach composition doing good. And it looks like another Nidus Worm coming down. And Milo's going for it. He takes out the natural expansion. Oh my gosh, he's just going to go for the main in the unit counting station. We see that there are seven Roaches, 11 Stalkers, six Zealots, and a pair of Sentries. And keep in mind, in this game, three of a kind doesn't always beat a pair. LOL. Oh, LOL. Orangutan from now taking out the Nexus. Doing quite a bit of damage in the unit counting station. We see 11 probes. Where are they? Oh, they're long distance mining. And it looks like Milo. Oh no, taking out the key spire that was going to allow him to build two full mutilists. Oh no, he's at 197. He could almost build two. He could build like 1.97 to be exact. Hey, I'm in Fun Day Monday right now. Love you, Mama. Bitch. And it looks like we see a lot of roaches sweeping into the main, doing some crazy damage, and there it is. All the Stalkers ripping apart the main. The Nidus network is gone. And I think if you have units in the Nidus worm and it dies and there's no exit, I think they just kind of stay in a time warp. She gave me hearts. I love my mama. Fucking bitch. So, <laughs> when your Nidus worm dies... And they're all gone. This is like this is like a philosophical question. Do you think Zergs stay up late at night? It's like, if all the Nidus networks are gone when we're in it, where do we go? And some of them are like, we go into nothing. It does nothing happens. You're just gone. You're dead. And other people are like, you live on forever in the Nidus worms throughout all of the world. But I mean, I th think they just stay. Is that right? I want to. I'm trying to crowdsource it here. I'm trying to crowd. I think I think they die. Do they live? I don't know. 
I don't know, something happens to him. Oh, Orangutantrum taking the hatch at the top right, but it looks like... Oh, Milo. Milo, he's naked. He's naked. He is in the nude. These buildings are all seeable by Orangutantrum. There is this one building here. We see a triage of larva, and it looks like a stunt queen. 120 energy on the stunt queen. There it is, the stunt queen. Alright, we see these drones here. They're gonna try to begin mining, but Orangutantrum does have the stunt queen in a single spine crawler. Uh oh, uh oh. We do see the spawning pool, the first spawning pool. The probes go up, sacrificial probes. Oh, Milo not controlling this properly. We do see this queen throws down a nicely planted transfuse. Oh my gosh, he's starting to mine. Orangutantrum hanging in there, but there are a lot of stalkers. They target fire the queen. The queen is gonna go down. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, and it looks like Orangutantrum trying to pull back. There's a target fire on the hatch. Milo, are you target firing the hatch? No, he's pulling off the target fire on the hatch. His elves are now sweeping forward, and it looks like Orangutantrum is gonna try to micro as best he can in the product. Oh, what the hell? He's building the spine crawlers to defend the Nidus worm that doesn't have an exit, and and there's no engineer class on Orangutantrum's team. He can't build an entrance to that anywhere. Like, what is? He's defending the Nidus network that doesn't have anything to poop out the other side with, said Sean with many a preposition. What is this? Alright, that's fine. He's gonna defend it. He's gonna defend it. There's a Orangutantrum. He's gonna he's taking out the hatchery. And it looks like Orangutantrum. He's gonna need to begin a rebuilding here. He has a stunt queen that's still doing nothing. Alright, he's pulling back, he's trying to micro, and Milo is going to advance forward, he's going to target fire the roaches, he picks off one, Orangutantrum, needs to retreat, he manages to get the sentry, and he's pulling back, and there he's shooting the spine crawler, he needs to take it out before it, well, he needs to split the damage equally so that all three spine crawlers live, and he's going to be able to take out one spine crawler, and there's a second spine crawler going down, he needs to micro this back, he doesn't micro, he ends up losing it, and oh my god, Orangutantrum, all right, it's five stalkers. All right, he has a drone. He has enough for a single additional drone at this point in time. Where's the other drone building? You built the drone there! What is this drone doing here? Orangutan, run! 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 Or as Zaga would say, run! Way. Oh, run! He's gonna run these buildings! Run! I need a tantrum! Oh, butt shit! Orang a tantrum! Orang a tantrum! Orang a tantrum! Pulling the unit in, man. What are you doing, dog, man? Man, dog, damn, dog, dude. Alright, notice they've lost an exact. Amount of resource 6500 6300. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no ravager roach ravager roach exploding in the unicorn station We see it's two drones and a queen Milo. Oh My god damn it orangutantrum freaking out. He thinks he broke the rules by having that roach die off creep Don't rule it. Don't worry. No rules have been broken. I totally spaced on the rules and attacked you off creep Don't worry about it. You just lost things off creep orangutantrum needs to defend all right, we see, okay, okay, Milo scouting everywhere, but okay, he sees, he sees where it is. And look at him, he's being revealed. Oh no, he's pulling back. You see that there's creep still being spread by Orangutantrum. And there's a spine crawler. And as you'll know, five stalkers beats one st spine crawler, but... <gasps> I think everyone is forgetting the key bit of information. I think everyone's forgetting why she earned her name. I think everyone is forgetting that there is a professional stunt queen in the building. 200 energy. 200 energy on the queen. It literally hasn't done dick all game long. There has been nothing done by this queen. Let's see how the stunt queen can do. All right, there's the transfuse. And there it is. Whack. Whack transfuse. Whack. Whack and a transfuse. Kill the queen! Kill the queen! He's losing his docker! He's losing his docker! Oh! And there's the target fire and it transfuse! Come on! Come on, Orangutantrum! Orangutantrum! Orangutantrum, he's gonna lose us! Kill it! Off! Oh! Orangutantrum!
tantrum. All right, a tantrum. You live to see the end of the game. Orangutan Trump, where are these probes? There's a probe, there's a probe, then there is another probe. Could have changed the tide with the probe. Orangutan Trump, Orangutan Trump, yes, Orangutan Trump. Pit stains, Orangutan. My God, I want you to know this because it gets like 85 degrees in my room because I have these gigantic bright floodlights. It's so bad. It's like a police interrogation's happening on my forehead all daily long. But I, I managed to pull it off on fun day, Monday. I'm wrapping it up because my mom wants to talk to me for next week. I would like you to submit to me a game of you Terran players with your first expansion being a planetary fortress at your opponent's natural. That's all there is to it. You need to planetary fortress, day nine. Planetary fortress at his natural expansion. First, that must be your first base. I want to see all, all, all types of craziness. And uh, for now, I'm going to go. That's it. For tomorrow, we're going to end Zerg week. I know it started weirdly in the middle of the week. We did Destiny Zerg vs. Protoss. We did Send Zerg vs. Zerg. We did Euro Mono Battles on Sunday. We did Funday Monday today. And we're going to do that last matchup, the Zerg vs. Terran, with Morrow vs. Select. Taking a look at why Morrow is so, 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 so good tomorrow. See you then, guys. See you then. For now, I'm out. I'm oot. That's what I'm about. Doop-dee-doop. Beep-doop-dee-doop. Bye, guys.